वही शर्मिला ओके सी सेड ओनली फॉर टू डेज और थ्री डेज एंड कंप्लीट सॉक हैज डन ओके सो दिस इज ऑफ द ऑफेंसेस राइट सर ऑल आर द ऑफेंसेस वी कैन सी दैट व्हाट एवर द थिंग्स इज हैपेंस लाइक यू नो इफ आई कैन क्लिक ऑन द पर्टिकुलर ऑफेंसेस आई कैन सी द एंटायर इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट दिस लॉस यस वी कैन रीड दिस इंफॉर्मेशन एग्री एवरीबडी इज क्लियर विद दैट so if i click on the offenses i have this categories i can see the categories i can see the rules so there are the certain rules are defined so i can see if i want this to be get i can get with the rules format also you can see that so i can i can get this uh, offenses with the help of like you know with the name of descriptions you can see the descriptions when i'm clicking on rules okay Lo what are the rules as applied part and if i click by by network so it get by the network from which network is getting by destination ip we can get all the destination ip source ip we can create the offenses yes we can create the offenses also so by categories like you know uh, uh, we get it like you know but all the rules like what are the rules we apply access rules applications rules asset authentications dos exploit malware policies so this is all about the categories we can see that okay so when i click on this categories i get those all options here okay so with that categories i can work on it like policies what are the recognizances happening here okay so dns recognizance database recognizance risk management audit here so we can see like suspicious activities rules like arp spoofing bad content blacklist addresses botnet addresses what are the botnet addresses are there like you know content modified by the firewalls so what is happening over that so there are the certain rules has been defined here we don't get any result on that so we can just by using the category search we can use that parameters okay now if i'll say like i need to see something about the brute forcing so authentication there might be a brute forcing okay login failure database so if i click on this so those related informations we can be able to see okay now it is not there Is that clear to everybody here? Yes. Okay. In offices, uh, we don't have anything. What? We are searching with any uh, category. We can we can say, like you know we can search only offenses here. No? So that is the category I showed you. No. Here I showed you that is only the category. Yeah, when we are opening, it is saying that no one is there. Just five minutes is showing. No. So that is the reason. So if I see all the offenses is there here. If you can see yes. the same from this search only they got it here. means in real time for the direct access it has been doing. sorry in real time the offenses are being reported direct access of which attack yes which attack happens and where we can filter it what alerts we are getting it what are the correlations as rules has been defined based on that it will go ahead okay so everything if we can show that here if i'll talk about like you know uh let me show about this if i click on this see i am clicking on login failure here right so when i click on this login failure here here in the action sorry i came here just one minute mm. action you can see that like you know what are the protected list export xml and unlisted assign okay so what are these assign add note so when we click on these options we can work on that for real time like whatever we are doing to whom we are assigning what are the integrations they are doing it with that we can work on it okay am i clear everybody okay so this is what it happens in the open source this is the dashboard you know everything about the dashboard there is a default show dashboard are there like for application overview complaints network if i click on the complaints so i'll get the complaints related if not there if not there here we can add the items whatever the items we want getting my point whatever the information you required you can just click on this and you can use those items here am i clear everybody so categories were search like destination source ip and so on we can use those part so this is our different type of dashboards you can see the risk monitor you can see that like you know there is no dashboard selected at here so i don't know so i can say that if i want items here like see like i want to see all the most recent offenses so 
risk management, I'll get the offenses here. I need some more item here. I need the log, current log activities here. So I need these activities towards the offenses only. Okay. So authentication, top authentication is user failure. So whatever the user failure authentications I want here. I'm getting my point how we can create so whatever whatever the information I require here in the risk part as well. I can just add this item. I want this log activities by the like you know EPS systems, like how many event flow per second is there. We can get that information. How the event flow is happening here. Okay. So I can do the settings in different manners, like you know, what type of average you require in time series want you you want into the pie chart. So what exactly you require here and what last hours you require. You can do the settings on each of this tab here. I'm getting you're getting my point, guys. So we can use those things here. I want into the line chart, I want into the tables. I want whatever you want, you can just use that and you will get those information. Okay. Perfect. So this is how the audit we can do it. So we have like system monitoring. Again, there is a default dashboard. So you can understand this dashboard, what is information we are getting. Perfect. Clear about dashboard, everybody. Yes, we can create the dashboard. This is the same thing. That's what I said. Add item and select the items. But we can use the new dashboard as You click on the new dashboard, give the dashboard name, description, share with everyone, okay, and add that information. Same thing, same items. Whatever the items you require, customize, you can add it. Okay. Now here this is the part network activities I have not talked anything because it is also the same such as same like log activities but we get a very less network flow because we are not doing any live environment now here so we are not getting any network packet flow here you getting my point so if network packet the same things like you know you can do the searches here so last five minutes ten minutes same thing like custom by the rules and all all network related part okay. So here we can see that quick searches for that as well. I can click on the data and I can do it. Log activities we can do it. Okay. Now here assets again there is nothing to do it with asset as if now. Okay. We are working as analysis so we can like you know work on the assets like what are the assets are there, what are assets name, what are like you know VS scans, all those things we can do it. But in environment like you know you not need to know that. Like you know, you, if you if you're getting to know about this part, it's fine. Most most of the most of the part we are discussing on analytics. Then we have reports here. Now the reports are nothing but creating a different type of report based on weekly, monthly, yearly. Like you know, there are uh, daily week reports are there, monthly reports are there, weekly reports are there. Now if you can see this, this is as a community version which we are working on, right? So we have some sample report of 28. Maybe 20 or 20 or 25, but when we talk about the production uh, production version, when you are working on the uh, on the corporates and you get it, you get of sample reports of 200, 250 like this. The reports are there in this manner. Okay. Now, how to create this report? How to create? So let me take any of this. Okay. Let me take it uh, the weekly report here. Can you see that weekly report of PCI yes. companies? So instead of complaints, let's go for IDS and IPS. So weekly reports of authentication identifications are there okay let me click on this okay so if i click on this and i can add item it's not like this i click this is just sample so if i click on this report i get this report column here okay so in this report column so we have the weekly from monday to monday right monthly daily hourly or manually is that clear everybody so we talk about the monthly here i'll just say that next here so when i click on the next so here you can see the options are there it can be like you know uh, the orientations can be into the landscape you can make it into the landscape or you can make it into the portable here so if i'll say that into the landscape here you can see that here i, I can use into the one column one parameter or here i can use a one report here i can use two different sections okay three different sections here getting my point so i can use any any of the section either this section or this section or this section so these sections like i'm using four different parties i want log source 
destination uh, log uh, source ip destination ip like you know i need the source ip graph chart bar chart i can use those things here getting my point is already created or we are creating now we are creating i am talking about template here so how your report should look like now if i talk about the orientations into the portrait you have like you know maximum like you know maximum we can take as a six options okay like 1 2 3 4 5 6 in the portable okay na is that clear now if i say like i want this one so i click on next so you can see that it's going what line chart to the event log event log here line chart to the event log so why this two both are same in general if you can ask me so if i click on then only i get na the information what is there so if i click on this you can see that this is a authentication successful by the user okay so all data from previous week you are getting from sunday to sunday and time you can change this all thing okay but just to get you understand so it's so easy don't worry about it try and understand that okay whatever the things we required we can add here so you can you see that is the user authentication by the top user top authentication by users is showing it right so top user authentications we are getting here and if you can go down here you can see that it should be get into the bar line chart whatever it may be and it is the username horizontal access is a username y axis is the count here so showing the username and count in this okay fine so this this is giving the username and account that's fine so let's go to the next part here Okay, this one. Uh, we have created it as a username now here. Yes. Now here, what we are getting it. So when I click on this, so here you can see that authenticated failed is getting. Authenticated success we got it. Authenticated yes. failed we are getting it. So all data same time, like same report we are getting. But this is in this column. Can you see that? Yes. Are you able to see this one? Yes. It's going into this column. That was in this column. Yes. And the same username here. It is the same, same username and code. So authentication success, authentication failure. failure are there in this. Okay. Now, as they like, that's fine, clear. So I'm just. Oh, sorry. Yeah. No problem. We we'll click on this again. Next, we have taken this one. Na? Next, now is that clear, everybody here? Now here we taken this. Now let me define the next part here. Now what do you need again? Username, authentications. We got it. Now what next should be there? Sorry. In this box we are getting source IP. We required. Okay. So here you can see that top authentication detail by the user details. So I can say that example I'm adding source to for you to understand for us to understand source IP I'm saying that here okay so the same to same Sunday to Sunday here now here we need to take it as okay now why it is showing that as why is showing as a username because we have created you know we have created this with the authentication na yes, user authentication things templates we are getting it. firewall rules or this type of we taken the report na we get the source ip also source we'll see that also let's see that now here as if now we we'll see that here we we'll see what are the things are matching okay let us see that we have authentication failure system remote access vpns group remote so logout ip can i say that yes, see admin login success ip admin login failure ip we can use it right or not agree so i use this one Okay, group it into the bar or line chart. Okay, I need into the bar only. That's that's fine. So, table cannot cannot be fit with container. Please choose the graph type. Okay, line chart. 
why we can use it so let's see that what happened okay so i'll save this container agree so we got it this one saved you can see that now i'll click here Here we require the top source IPs, so I'll define that. Click here. Now I'm saying like I need the source IP now. So I'll say like source IP here. I'm giving just name as a line chart here. So here, what field we required? Where is the source IP? DMZ internal net. VoIP, wireless network, let me check that, what type of report I can get that, NAT network, hmm? proxy server, zero or not, I don't know, let's see that. here line chart with offenses let's say the offenses event log sources also we can do like you know if i want to see the last week logs here okay so we can search those log and we can add it here the available success whatever the success has been it's loading here so that information also can be able to see that so admin logout source ip this is our log in event count exploit flow rate, FTP, so all those we are getting it right, malware event, malware event by name, offenses by source IP, right, any remote, whatever you want, so I'll take here SSH login here, shall I take this SSH login, agree, so here this chart name also be given now, SSH login. This is just sample report. So we can see the limit of top five here. Limit of top five, ten, twenty, whatever we want, we can give that. So it asking like graph type, select the group. So we have taken what? SSH. Uh, SSH no? So maybe Windows Server. Why is this group is not working? Only aggregated search can be graphed. Please choose the table graph type edit search to be aggregated. Okay.
Top idea right here. Top box sources. Okay. So here what we need to do it. Just we need to give it your name as log sources. Okay. Perfect. Huh? Let's see that just report. Okay. Safe contain here. Log sources here. Now here I'll take some more thing. Let me take as asset as responsibilities, log sources I have taken, top destination IP addresses. So what are the top destination IP addresses? Destination IP. So I take that as, as save this container. Okay, we got this thing. Is that clear? We set up this thing. We can make it this into the four columns, three columns. It depends upon it. You'll get the sample that report you have to create, but everybody can check that. So I'll just click on next and you can see this report, right? Are you getting my point guys? Yes. So this is the report where we have it. So we will report for the authentication user generated by, generated on 25 July, right? 2002, based on the system date is showing, na? right? So this is the IBM curator organizations authentications by users you can see that like authentications by details like source IP destination IP and all got it so this report can be generated and that can be just given to them and they'll show you all the samples see nobody will give you the entire project in one time on you everything what I'm showing you there is a proper training are there hmm. Then if you are experienced or you're fresher, it doesn't make any difference. Organizations will give you a proper training on the product. With that product only, you're going to process, process your, like, you know, things, whatever you're doing. Agree? So this is how it's going to be work. Clear? So, well, we have options like manual. So, manual is all you can create all the steps. Like, no, means time side. I mean, like weekly or like hourly, daily. Yes. So you, they will tell you that what would be the report information should be there. That is, you have to create it. That's. I mean, my question is like, we have an option for manually. So when we are weekly, why we should do manually? Like if you want to go for exchange some days, you want only three days. Okay. You so want only two days. Uh, so in that case, you can go ahead. For that. Last five days, what happened? Send me the report. Okay, you said you're not done. Na? Give me the report. Okay. You're but getting a bunch of they can trace out anything. Yes, purpose. understanding purpose. But we are saving the reports out. Got it? The same thing, we can finish it and we can just save into the PDF. Okay. Now, this is the admin panel. As you know, like if I want to get acted something, like you know, some the log sources i have one windows log sources but win collect i want to install some other machines i have another vm base right so in that i have two there are two options standalone and managed so while you are installing you have standalone. select standalone. standalone when you are installing that agent you have clicked on the standalone if you click on the manage it will ask you token number it will ask you token. so that token number should be created from the admin panel only okay so what is that we have a service authentication authorized services here so once i click on that so when i click on this authorized services we can create a token here on the particular win collect so while you're installing so you do manually sometimes you try to install into the managed so what happens it will ask you like you know the serial i'll show you that It is ask you enter the add authorized service. Can you see that? Yes. Click on this. Okay. Now here we can give it like you know, suppose it, 
Windows, I'm giving it Tokyo Windows servers, Windows things, what you want. So this is for the admin, all or win collect. We'll say like all. This is for admin and expiry date. When you want to like you know make it this expire. Like you say like 23, 24, 25. At this time I need to get expired. I want to say that there is no expiry for that. Mm -hmm. I can click on this and say that create the services. So when I create on the services, there is an authentication. See, authentication token has been generated. Yeah. Yes. So this token has to be copied and sent when we are we are telling the users to install the win collect. So into the manage group they have to install it. So they ask enter the token number. Okay. So you should give this token. You have to give this token. Sir, uh, we sent the option all instead of win collect. So all license users, all all users can get it whatever the users are. license right or else only admin user logs will get like that kind of things okay clear no now here as i have done this i can i can get the logs if i can see that log so i have the log sources in that log sources if i can go i can get all those logs here. If I can click on this log sources, I can see that logs. Okay, so those logs can be get drive into directly, and I can able to read those logs. What exactly this happens? These are the log sources. Now, what I have it the next part. I have something called as extension management here. Let me show you. Extension management. So if I click on this extension management like you know we have we have the certain applications so here i have some already added an applications but i'll tell you that what to do it so here you can see that i have some thread monitoring contain extensions i have curator 7.3.0 so like this i have it but if i need to like you know first i need extension before getting added. So you have an app center or you can click on this. Can you see that I IBM app, security app extension? It will take you to the extension website where you can get all the applications. Okay. So with this one click, we'll go here. Now once we get here, okay, it's not getting fine. So no worries. We'll go manually here. Okay. Extension is the same thing. Okay. How do we have extension for browser? Browser, Chrome, Chrome, like that. Yeah, it's kind of. Or applications, we can see that. Applications, we have. So here, if I can see that, this is the applications we can, right? Now, if I click on this, you can see that. If I click on this, you can see all the activities, API support, like what are what are the things we have. Now we came directly here, so you can see that this is all the applications. So if it is support my version, I can download that. This is a premium one. Can you see that? Curator advisor with the Watson. Okay, so this is a premium version. Okay, there are the free versions also there. Okay, so where you can use it that as like, you know, if I want uh, IBM security verified active SDK, I want SOAR, I want like Google Cloud, I want a virus total in that. I want virus total component for the SOAR. So, Okay, see if I click on this. If I click on this, so it virus total is a artificial entertainment solutions that queries are possible of IP address, URLs, hashes, domains, and file server. So I don't need to go to the other uh, virus total. I have extension, I can right click and I can work on it within the curator. Okay, so if you can see the screenshots here, you can see that like this, it will get it. You're getting my point. No, I have, I have many of things like I can add it like, yeah, no, not report, it is for analysis part. We can analyze in a very clear manner here, like whatever the applications we are getting it, we can do it. We can create the dashboards and we can use it, that part as well. So put print print, risk batter, virus total. So there are, there are several versions are there here. Can you see that? Getting my point? So, so IBM verifies the adaptive SDK for the Android, Android-based applications. 
so url scans io component here right so if i'll see that it will scan the urls whatever it is getting into where it is going on it so in that there are different processes are there so we can check those things okay so here i want to download one application let me see that shall i download from here okay any one of i'll download let let me see that i want to go ahead for i want only uh, this one Okay, guys. See you. So I click on this. Can you see the app exchange? Yes. I'll click on this app exchange. Um, example, I need one application here, like Pulse. I know that. So I'll just click on that. I'll search this. So here you can tell that is word version 7.3.0, which we are using, right? So I can click on this. Here I have the download option. Yeah. Okay. To download, to log in here, we have to log in this. So I'll click on the login button.
we have already you know we have created last time if you remember to download ibm curator how we download same thing if you have credentials you can download not an issue okay I'll come that soon. Welcome. No, you can sit here. So we can see that. You can sit here. Yeah. So we can see. Okay, so this is just download if we can just put this login details no? yes. it will download it okay so this is a username password whatever you have it like if you can just click on this and it will download it after downloading how to add that see just click on this extension here we have add button okay so you have to click on this browse this and wherever is there so i have this on this one okay so you can just select okay here you put it on this one install okay and add it it will automatically will install it takes some time okay and now here once the installation is done this is my pulse here okay so when i click on this this is one of the dashboard which i have created here right or not miss like add it in extension nothing is done so what happened here like when we have it here so you can see that it gives me a ready-made report about it like you know whatever whatever the things is happens I can I can see that like event flow I want to see the first so I click on the event flow here okay so he will it will give me the report about all of the events which have been there what are the log sources are there so top 10 log sources average event rate all those informations I can so inside pulse we have three options to select that there are the several options are there. Yes, there are the several options are there. I'll tell you that. Okay, it's taking time. Get all the data here. Okay. Just loading. So once we load this, all this data, no one click will come. Internet. Hmm. No. No. So that can be dashboard. That can be a malicious, mis miscellaneous, like you know, matrix offenses. All those things we can able to see. Okay. So here is showing the offensive view. 
we have the offensive tab, right? Yes. The similar way, like what are the offenses? Offenses have just like you can see that it is like authentications failed. Okay. The remote login access failed, right? Here we can say that this is for generating the authentication failure, host login success, species pattern. So this is are the SSH login failure. This Same type of it report it has been adding up extension. It will yeah, we can understand this very clearly, right? By seeing this this dashboard. What are these things happens? Where this is happening? Okay, so we can get this reports, all those magnitude and all. So we can click on this and we can run about each of these logs. So we guys work on it. Okay, now this is offenses related. Like we have even Patrick's here, so it's it shows that all the log sources, whatever we have. So here we get a report about the log sources, EPS, event per second, flow per minute, like what are the FPMRs there. So these informations we can be able to. See at this part. So this is the one of like process, and we have like you know. Now if I click on the offenses, now it will not take much time because it's already loaded the data. Yeah. So the same thing. If I click on one tab and wait, and I load it that. So every time it will get updated every one minute. Okay. So it will give the complete report about it. Like if I click on this, and if I click on the like, you know miscellaneous. Miscellaneous matrix, what happened? So here we get it about the disk users, locations of events, from where the events are getting it. So what are the connections? So we get all those informations over here also. We can see that. We get the doubts here, okay, which country we are getting an event. Mm -hmm. So here nothing but the locations of event from which, from where we are getting those events. Example, if I, if I load this data. So if I'm loading this data live, so I, after that if I refresh, I get it like, you know, here, the green doubts. From where this data is coming into it, what actions we need to take on. So those are yeah. yes. So it we can see that those part of it. Okay. So all the disk users and all. So it's taking time as if like you know to get load. Today I don't know what happened. So if I click on this summary overview, so you get exactly the summary overview about that dashboard. So this is a just dashboard. Everything whatever we want, we can add it. There are a lot of options are there. We can add it and we can use those as success. So from where the source IP, destination IP from the all the entire process. This is the entire world map we can see that, okay. From where we are getting the source IP and destination IP. So it creates the connections here. From this line to this line, this line to this line and so on. Got it? So this is the way where we can see that the connections part is loading the data, working for the trivia data. So it will come like, you know. Sorry? Everything is created. In that, uh, we have to give a, like, we have to create like charts and then we have to install this information as well. No, no, no. This is just to get your review, analyze it easily. Okay. So, same dashboard we have written, so we just need to analyze that successfully. It will make you easy to understand this thing, like what is happening. So, what is the difference between the dashboard which we have? This is the clear dashboard, clear. Text text board, you can understand, right? No, no, yes, by one click, we are getting a lot of information over there. Comparing with that, and also we are creating reports for the review purpose. Same like, like that, only the yes, yes. view can be like that, right? How many sources and all? So I can click on that, that. so yes. same way I can get, but it's not related to anything about the report. Is a dashboard where you can understand things. Okay. So normally, it will be not there in IBM. So we have to uh, install this one part side. Yeah, it's a it's a extra dashboard. This is like you know, I can add it this dashboard if I want it. So many parts we have so many things. Yeah, so many things are there. So many things are there. Not only pulse, there can be a like you know, a threat intelligent tools. There is be like automation tools that can be of like you know, uh, we have like auto blocking tools, wireless tools. On the install, how much uh, how much the blocking thing was there? Oh, yes. 
This is a created one. You can create the import existing one, template, whatever you want to do it, you can do it this way. It's not only we depends upon those uh, part here. Okay, here also we have thread globe. So.